All right, I'm Nick, out in the backyard. I said earlier that I would make this follow-up video of taking the Hobie Mirage Lynx out into some small surf today. I wanted to talk to you about some things, give you my thoughts, explain some parts of the video. I knew you guys weren't gonna be able to hear me when I was on the water. I was really just talking to Jamie, uh, just general things about it. So I know it was hard to hear me when I was out and about, but we'll start with some first things. You know, we, first thing you should notice is on the very first clip and I'll put that video up here if you haven't seen it the kayak moves very very easy in the water uh, at the very very beginning you can see I pull the kayak out it goes with the wave and then as the wash comes back it actually pulled the kayak or paddleboard we we'll just have to call it a lynx right because I still have no idea what it is uh, it pulls it back down the wash and the kayak runs into me that happened multiple times right and if you look at the tail end of the kayak it it wasn't, it was floating, you know, it was floating in like an inch of water, which is crazy. Obviously a Predator, an Outback, even a Revo, the back end's gonna dig in when it goes up there and it's gonna stop. But this thing was so buoyant that it came back down. That's something to be mindful of and watch when you are trying to get in it. Obviously I was doing a lot more standing there so you guys can see how the kayak performed than I would do if I was actually just launching. Uh, those things need to be seen even for myself. I needed to learn about the kayak The paddleboard the links uh, Overall though it was pretty darn impressive Obviously, I just kind of sat in the surf because you know once you got past that small little set of breakers There's nothing else out there. You could pedal around you guys saw me standing up in those little one-foot rollers With no issues. I did jump out of it and jump back in or climb back in which was very very easy to do Obviously, there's no sides uh, and so on now one thing that you may have noticed when I went to get into the kayak one time um, I actually took this off right if you see the one at the beginning it's actually in the way okay it's kind of weird because you go to jump in and then you know your hip is hitting this uh, it's hard to get over that obviously you don't want to break this so I I took it off but then I went to jump in and my pants got wrapped around this Right, so I was actually sitting on the kayak at an angle, and you see, like, kind of why it's taking so long to get in the kayak. I was stuck, but this thing is so stable that nothing flipped over, nothing moved, and that's that's impressive. It says a lot, you know. Obviously, it's pretty wide. I have no idea how wide it is. I didn't look. Um, I haven't even read most of the spec sheet. I saw the weight, and I was like, "Hey, uh, I think this will serve the purpose I want it to serve." Um, obviously, it paddles really well. You guys saw me sitting there. I went. And I went out, you know, I paddled out, I played around in the waves. I even spun it around to see what would happen when the waves hit me from behind, as in if we were coming back into the land. And it did really, really well. And the reason is, is it's just so buoyant. It just stays on top of the waves. Obviously, it's flat, so the water just runs through it. Obviously, there's cracks in here, so the water drains out there. You got a scupper here and two scuppers there. But for the most part, the platform itself just wicks the water off and you can see that in the video the waves just kind of break roll over it and they're gone which made a huge difference right uh obviously the outback the pa the revo uh, all the old town kayaks the salty the big water top water they have gunnels and this stuff will fill with water and that extra water holds the kayak down i think uh water's like uh what seven pounds a gallon or something like that uh so every gallon of water you have in your kayak is just slowing you down whereas the water just rushed off right so it's weird to think about something you don't really consider uh once we did go down with the pedals uh, obviously i pedaled forward through no issue i did put it in reverse at one point if you watch that clip if you watch that clip you actually saw i was going backwards and the back end kind of dug into the water a little bit that was kind of weird uh very interesting but it did really, really well, right? Uh, lightweight, you know, easy to grab right here. I did hit my hand on here a few times, and this edge is actually pretty sharp. Not like like cut you sharp, but uh, when it hit my leg, you definitely feel that pointy edge. If you haven't seen it, those are weird things to consider. Uh, one thing I did notice when I got home just a few minutes ago, and I, I kind of cleaned it out now, I couldn't get. I couldn't get the rudder out. The rudder was stuck. Uh, I mean, usually you could just slide it out of there. Uh, but there was a bunch of sand here. I actually already, I sprayed my, I put my blower on it, tried to get it out. So uh, like other 
systems when there gets sand in there it doesn't you know it's not as easy to remove uh but i cleaned it out and went back to work and fine um uh, that's the only thing i really noticed about the kayak that had anything wrong with it after going out obviously this stuff wasn't here life jacket was on but it did good man uh this part getting hung up on this part is weird it's something to get used to if you watch the part of the video where i said i was just gonna launch the, the kayak and go obviously i hopped in i actually just had this in my hand right it, it still works right like if it's down you can just hold this obviously it's hard to do it one hand but it doesn't matter where it's at you can still you can still steer you guys see that uh so that's interesting so i was just like holding this in my hand driving around before i clipped it on here very easy stuff to get used to i do think launching in the surf i'm gonna have to keep this out of the way i'm gonna put a fish finder on that side uh this thing is definitely gonna either hit me in the hip if you can get in in super shallow like ankle deep water you're good you can step over that but if you're in need of waist deep water when you go to jump in I mean, it's kind of similar to where we're standing here. You're going to hit that. You're going to hit it hard. Uh, it's in a way. I don't want to put too much pressure on that. I don't want to like sit on it itself. I don't want to break it. That wouldn't go over well. Uh, so I'll probably take that off, leave it right there, and then just hop in like I did. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Put the rudder down. Put the pedals down. Get situated. And then go from there. Uh, obviously, probably doing a bit of rambling overall. I think it was very successful. Um, I think that you'll be able to go out and surf much bigger than that, mainly because it's gonna ride up and go over the wave and then all the water's just gonna flow off of it. But we're gonna do a bunch more of those videos. We'll get it out on some nastier surf and we'll see what it does. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below or shoot me an email at nick at Thanks for watching.